our last segment uh, is going to be discussion uh, led by Jim Timon, our executive director, uh, and Scott Pankratz uh, with the Adventure Cycling Association, and it's to really provide an overview of an MOU between AASHTO and the ACA, as it's called, regarding uh, the bicycle routing system. So uh, let's ask Jim uh, to open this segment up, and uh, he will then uh, turn it over to Scott, I believe. Well, thank you, Dr. Wilson. Uh, as you mentioned, one of the items that we wanted to cover today uh, as part of this meeting's agenda is just to have a short ceremony to formalize uh, and solidify the relationship that AASHTO has had for well over a decade with the Adventure Cycling Association. Uh, and I'd like to welcome the Executive Director of the Adventure Cycling Association, Scott Pankratz, to our meeting today. Uh, as some of you may know, AASHTO and ACA and several other organizations came together in the mid-2000s to look into reinvigorating uh, an effort that began in, in the 1970s, uh, and that's uh, the effort to, uh, to designate a cross-country long-distance system of bicycle routes, similar to the interstate highway system. Uh, and that route would really be designed to provide uh, for and encourage long distance uh, bicycle riding and the associated benefits to tourism and economic development that uh, that, that brings. Uh, so this reinvigoration effort resulted in the development of a national corridor plan and overarching principles to be used by state DOTs in, in designating uh, U.S. bicycle routes that cross the, the country uh, and reach nearly every state uh, in, in the union. Uh, in 2008, the AASHTO Board of Directors uh, officially adopted uh, the corridor plan, and AASHTO and ACA have been working with state DOTs to identify routes uh, to include in this system uh, since then. Uh, so with, with that, let me hand it over to Scott to provide some remarks and uh, some additional background on the U.S. bicycle route system and our work together. Scott? Great. Thanks so much, Jim. Uh, great to be here. Thanks for having me today. Uh, this MOU is a really exciting marker on this long-standing relationship between Adventure Cycling and AASHTO, as Jim mentioned. We've been working together since 2005 to bring together um, the U.S. bicycle route system in service to seamless bicycle travel around and across the country. The national bicycle infrastructure is more important now than ever as we see a surge in sales and interest in cycling and a need to get out safely during the pandemic. And I think this has been a really uh, rewarding effort to be a part of in these times in particular. Working together, we plan to and hope to designate and sign the largest bicycle route system in the world at over 50,000 miles. And I wanted to share just a short video with you all to kind of give a taste of what the U.S. bike route system is and can be. connect us. There are a lifeline to our neighbors next door, our friends across town, and people across the country. The U.S. Bicycle Route System will connect the people, places, and all the things we love by bicycle, providing an official nationwide network of signed bicycle routes across the U.S. using roads and trails. Imagine being able to easily navigate your way by bike to visit a friend in the next town or ride your bike from coast to coast by following an official interstate system of bicycle routes. The U.S. BRS is about connecting communities, supporting businesses in small towns, creating a healthier future, and linking together our iconic landscapes. U.S. bike routes are already underway as people and communities are realizing the benefits of bicycling. Whether you're only riding across town or across the country, be part of the movement. Build it, bike it, be a part of it. Learn more and get involved at adventurecycling.org forward slash USBRS. So as I mentioned, this plan has been honed and the end goal vision is a 50,000 mile network for cyclists to experience the people and communities of our country at an up close and personal level. This is the National Corridor Plan. It shows where the U.S. bike route system is headed and it's a blueprint, blueprint for future development. The solid black lines on this uh, graphic represent designated USBRs and the colored dashed lines represent the plan for the system and corridors that connect the states. 
State DOTs have the ultimate authority in determining where their routes go, though they must have concurrence from adjoining states when a U.S. bike route ends or begins at the state line. The corridors connect rural and urban areas to and through key travel destinations. And after 15 years of academic engagement and collaboration with DOTs, including route research, work with local municipalities and non-state-owned facilities, and sharing the news with our 53,000 members, it's really exciting to see the momentum building and the network about to tip over the 15,000 mile mark. I did want to take a moment just to mention the progress wouldn't be possible without the dedicated work and strong support of Adventure Cycling staff members, in particular Sarah Snow and Jen Hamelman, and our former Director of Advocacy, Jenny Sullivan. Dedicated volunteers and advocacy partners, including Carrie Irons, the Virginia DOT, original instigator of the concept for the US BRS in 1978, Michigan DOT, who set the, stand, the new standard for process and success with volunteers and the work of Josh DeBrine, and the staff at Ashto. It's been great to work in particular with Matt Hardy, Jim McDonald, and Jim Timon. Wanted to show just a couple pictures from the network, from a map to reality, from ideas to impact. Here's a few scenes from around the US BRS. This work fundamentally changes people and communities. It brings health, tourism, and self-discovery. The USBRS brings us together, and these lines on the map connect us. The USBRS is intended for long-distance traveling cyclists, but it also benefits cyclists of all ages and abilities in their home communities by increasing awareness, safety, and building economic benefits. And this work directly links the state DOTs dedicated to signage, safety, and transit to the people traveling on their bicycles to communities and tourist destinations like the Paul Bunyan Trail in Minnesota, and this beautiful covered bridge at the entrance to Frankenmuth, Michigan's Little Bavaria. These routes take us to new places, learning, adventure, and new friends. As one of our staff member, Lori, often comments, if you want to restore your faith in humanity, go on a bike tour. Jim? Well, thanks, Scott. I mean, and as everybody has seen, uh, you know, really this partnership with Adventure Cycling has been a huge benefit to this program. And, and ACA has been instrumental in the implementation of the U.S. Bicycle Route System, um, helping to educate state DOTs on their options, coordinating with the different jurisdictions that the routes run through, uh, documenting the continual uh, expanding extent of the system, uh, developing maps and promotional materials for the effort, and really just doing that groundwork that's needed to get these routes identified, designated, and publicized within the bicycling community. And, uh, you know, and this effort really would never have gotten to where it is right now without uh, their leadership and, and, and their initiative in driving this effort. Uh, you know, we're really excited to have this MOU document those roles and responsibilities that each organization uh, has been playing and maintaining and updating both the National Corridor Plan, as you saw uh, on an earlier slide, uh, with uh, involvement of our Committee on Planning and, and the designation of specific routes through the AASHTO uh, Special Committee on U.S. Route Numbering. Uh, so, you know, this, uh, this MOU is, is important, I think, for both organizations. Uh, it certainly highlights AASHTO's longstanding commitment to advancing a multimodal vision uh, for America, and each new bike route really does give people more travel options to connect with neighboring communities and recreational facilities and tourism. So, uh, you know, we're really excited about this. And uh, with that, uh, I think we can move on to the actual signing of the document. My copy here, Let's see if this works. Thank you, Scott. Um, <laughs> not sure we got that right, but uh, no, we almost did. It was it was pretty good still. <laughs> you handed it the wrong way, Scott. You I'm sorry. Uh, I think I grabbed it the wrong way. He was, oh yeah. Uh, my responsibility to grab it from the right document, but here we do. We do have it signed document right here. Uh, 
Welcome to virtual MOU signing 101. Uh, you know, we'll keep working on this until we get it right. Uh, but uh, thank you, Scott, for joining us today. Uh, really important for us as an organization, and I know it's important to you. Uh, we had a, a great pre-meeting on Friday where we talked a little bit about some of those pictures that you showed in that slide and to hear uh, you know, some of the AASHTO staff talk about actually having been on some of those routes that you showed. I think it just shows that the, the system is really coming to fruition and it's, uh, and it's being utilized and it's, uh, and it's only gonna grow uh, here in the future. Yeah, absolutely. This really sets the stage for the next phase in our growth. And I also wanna just extend a sincere thank you to each of you, our amazing DOT partners uh, and community members. And also if you'd like to learn more, we're here to support you. If you wanna go for a ride, that's easy. We can, we can help out with that and also uh, we look forward to your help in building the United States Bicycle Route System. So thank you again for having us here and, and for the support of AASHTO. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, thank you, Scott. And thank you to the whole Adventure Cycling team. We really do look forward to continuing our longstanding relationship with Adventure Cycling Association. And uh, we encourage our member departments, our state DOTs that haven't yet explored this opportunity uh, to reach out and get in touch uh, to get this process started. Please do. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Scott, both for this. Uh, we all participated in our first virtual uh, MOU signing. I did a virtual groundbreaking and a ribbon cutting. So this this COVID uh, environment is, is really leaving its mark on us, right? Uh, the only comment I would make, Jim, is, is let's make sure that we share with states how they can participate and engage in this, because I know most of our states all have pretty robust uh, bicycle routes themselves and creating a pretty good network uh, in that active transportation world in terms of how folks can communicate and how we can advance uh, some of those efforts to really put some weight behind uh, this MOU, I think will be, be very, very helpful. Uh, and clearly where we've been in the pandemic, the idea that we saw more people riding and it's, it's unfortunately gonna reflect, I think our safety numbers around the country in terms of what we saw, um, you know, the signage and the safety factor of what we're doing is super important. And so targeting that conversation at the state level is super, super, uh, as I said, I'm repeating myself, but um, clearly there's an opportunity to deal in both urban and rural settings as well as uh, those flat settings. And as a scoutmaster, I don't mind riding bikes. So a former scoutmaster, I'll stay off the hills, Scott. So uh, it's a lot easier to ride in Louisiana than look for those mountains. So. Thank you for that. Any other comments or closing uh, questions for Scott or Jim regarding the MOU? As Matt says, once a scoutmaster, always a scoutmaster. And I remember, I think we were in Wyoming and we actually did a bike ride, um, if I'm remembering correct, Matt, uh, with uh, Paul Trombino uh, may have led that effort. So um, thank you all for that. I see no questions for this partnership. And Jim, thank you for making sure that we highlight all aspects of transportation uh, and that ASHTO is involved in, particularly at this forum, because we're going to address policy implications of what we do. And this is an example of taking the next step and really walking the walk we talk about. So with that said, we're at 1.56 my time, uh, 2.56 your time. And, 